Thank you so much for pressing play. You know, every time you press play, it gives me the inspiration to do another video. The purpose of this video is a little bit different than most videos that I do. This is more of a tutorial. And this tutorial, tutorial is about optimizing your second brain, AKA your mobile phone. Yes, your mobile phone is your second brain. It is probably the second most powerful tool next to your brain that you actually carry in your pocket. And a lot of us fall victim, fall prey uh, to this phone because it's, it's that powerful. I'm not gonna get into you know, all the elements that why the phone is addictive and the lighting and all those things that you hear. Um, I think they did a Netflix show about it. Um, but anyway, we're not gonna get into that. What I wanna show you is how I personally optimize my phone so that I get the most out of this very powerful tool. So let's get started. So the first thing that I did was I went to the back tray here and only chose things in the back that were essential. So sometimes you see the news, you see the, um, you can have, uh, you can have your social media, all those things that are distracting, I literally just got rid of them. And the only thing I have left is my calendar, the weather. Um, I wanna see you know, where my battery's at with my phone and my, my AirPods. Um, also, um, I have a little map. I don't, I'm contemplating whether or not I should keep that, but I have that here now. And then I think the most important piece of this is where I'm spending my time on the phone. And as you see here, I'm spending most of my time in the Reminders app, which I'll talk a little more why that's important. So once I kind of got that all edited down, the next thing that I did was usually on uh, the front, the, the front display page of your mobile phone, there's so many app icons that clutter your uh, your display page and you're constantly looking. There's red notification buttons. All those things are distractions. So as you see here, um, I actually took all of those, I actually took all of those app icons and categorized and organized them on the second screen so that, that, so that I don't actually see it. Now, as you see here, I, I actually um, organized it in utilities, finance, media, communication, workspace, and pro productivity. But uh, what I want to bring your attention to is the productivity one. This is my little secret. I don't tell everybody this. I know sometimes I make them look easy, but the reality is I have a team of virtual assistants that help me do projects and things that I need, even some of the personal things that I need to get done, small things I don't want to think about. I have a personal team here right here at the, uh, my fingertips. So I can go into my magic app. I can type, please uh, set RSVP for restaurant, uh, I'm spelling it, restaurant, and I can click send and they can pretty much set, set, set up anything. I can do small projects like that or I can do bigger projects. So this is one of my, my secret weapons here. I use two different apps, Fancy Hands and Magic. Um, don't tell anybody, I told you. If you made it this far, you really got a simple, a really uh, one of my secrets of productivity. Um, maybe I'll do a, a separate video on that. But anyway, as you can see, that's very organized. But one of the things, another thing that I'm contemplating whether or not I should keep or not is kind of figuring out a way to even just remove this. Because Apple actually does a really good job of organizing these things for you. As you see here, they organize all your social media, all your productivity and finance apps, your entertainment apps, your travel apps, um, even like your most recently ones. So once I, I, every so often I'll look at the ones that, um, apps that I recently added, I know some, uh, some of us, what we do is we download all these apps and they're just like taking up so much space. So periodically when I have some time, I'll, 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 um, I'll, um, 
delete apps that I'm not using. So that way it's not cluttering up my phone. I want to bring your attention to the education piece. I do have a three-year-old daughter. So this PBS app comes in handy a lot because I can just go boom and sometimes and allow her to watch her shows. Um, so, and that's a part of productivity, right? <laughs> if I need to get something done really quick, um, sometimes, you know, that comes in handy. So I covered the back display, the back tray display here. I covered how I organized my my apps um, in the different folders, but I want to bring you to the section where you really see, I like to call it essentialist, come out of me. So what I did was I chose the two most important things that specifically during my workday, that's important to me. The number one thing that's important to me. And the number one thing that's important to me is managing my stress levels throughout the day. And that's so critical because once you start producing a lot of cortisol, I'm not going to get too deep in it, but you start to produce a lot of cortisol, the, there's so much negative reaction to that. That's that stress hormone that comes up. So one of the things I try to do my best in, in is managing my stress level. So I have this app. One of the things I keep track of is my steps. I try to do about 10,000 steps every single day. To be honest with you, I've been slacking on that. Um, I'm at about 5,000 steps a day, um, but I need to step that up. And, but what that does is that helps me manage my stress throughout the day. And also, I listen to a lot of podcasts and music and stuff like that, too. So there's also, where's it at here? There's also uh, headphone audio levels to make sure I'm not overdoing it. Um, so that's really important to me. It's really important for me to keep track of that, to always you know, have my finger on the pulse of you know, where I'm at health-wise. And there's so many other apps that you can, like health related things you can do in this one app that I haven't even tapped into yet, but um, that's really important. The second app that I have here is a, a website by the name of Alchemy Health. And this um, website is geared towards mental health, specifically mental health of black and brown people specifically. Um, so they have different um, meditative sounds. Um, let's say I need to take a little break. What I'll do is I'll, you know, put on one of these soundscapes that I can listen to, and it gives me just 10 minutes of just depressing, deep, deep, you know what I mean. It gives me a few minutes to just kind of get my mind together. So these are the two things that are most important for me throughout the day. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have any more apps there. I want to keep this down to two, no more than two, maybe three. I mean, it would have to really be important. I don't know what yet, if you have any suggestions of if I do add three, but I don't want to clutter this front display up. Originally, maybe about a few weeks ago, I literally just had one. I just had the health one. I've just recently added the mental health one because I, I found myself using it pretty often. So I thought it, it would work perfect on there. But what I really want to bring your attention to is the bottom tray. The bottom tray is the key to this whole thing. Usually in the bottom tray on the front page is your, your phone application, your messaging application, and other app, contacts or other applications. Usually it's very distracting. Everything that really distracts you is usually at the bottom tray. But what I did was I made it very... Um, minimal in, in a sense of the ones that I, the, the four the four icons app icons that I chose all had to do with my ability to be creative um, to, be, to be creative to be sharp to constantly be putting my ideas out there so let me just show you let me stop talking let me just show you so basically the first thing I have here is the notes so the notes is what I use if I have ideas if I have thoughts just anything that comes to mind um, really quickly, it's a really good way for me to get ideas out because um, that's the way your mind works. It's almost like a garbage can. Like you, you can't like allow it to continue to pile it up before it starts smelling. So you have to constantly get these ideas out. So this is one of the things that I do first. Also, there's a folders option here. I haven't even began 
organizing it. Um, I'm, I, I try to keep it very organized, um, but I'm going to, if that's a project that I have to do is actually organize folders so I can take those, take these notes and pretty much put them in like different themes on how I'm um, uh, creating my notes. And then the next uh, app that I use that's very, I, I think the, the, the specifically the iPhone reminder app is so, so underrated, underutilized. I'm here to give this app its flowers, right? It's digital flowers right now, because this is where I really can um, build lists and really break down um, the products that I have. And basically I'm giving you my process for my, to keep me creative. So if I have an idea, I can easily, I can easily take that idea and break down that idea into the first three steps that I need to do. Or if I'm working on specific projects or specific things that I need to get done, I'll create a list um, to get it to get it to get it done. Um, but one of the the key things that I think that I use the most in this reminders reminders app is most pressing to do. Have you ever had those days where you feel overwhelmed? You just have so much that you need to do, but you just don't have the time or don't know when you're going to do it. That's what I go into the most pressing um, things to do. And that means these are things that are urgent that needs to get done. Um, so basically what I do is, as you can see here, I can prioritize them based off of the exclamation points. Three exclamation points uh, means it's high priority. Um, and then two is medium. One is low. And then the other cool thing about this is it allows me to create, wait, it allows me to put notes, URLs, the location. It allows me to flag things. But the feature that I really love is the subtask. Like it allows me to take it and then break it down because sometimes when we feel that overwhelming feeling is because we have these big projects in our mind or these big things we need to get done, but we don't break it down. So the best part for me, and as you see, I have the red exclamation points at the red so it stands out. Also, I use emojis to help stand to help my project stand out as well um, as, as we're very visual features. The next thing I use is the, um, the video recordings. I like to call this my audio journal, which I actually, as you see here, I have all different things, ideas, thoughts. Sometimes I'm working out uh, an idea that I want to uh, do on YouTube. If you continue to follow me on YouTube, where I'm going with this, I'm just laying the foundation. I have some topics. I have some things that I think that can really, really, really um, take you to the next level. Um, and I'm working these things out and I usually work these things out here in my audio journal. So that's really important. As you see here, I'm starting to build my folders. This is my personal I'm starting to build the fold folders and organize my topics to really, you know, stay on top of it. And the last piece here is, uh, the camera video app. That's self-explanatory. I'm not going to open it up because you know what it does. But this is when this is how I'm able to do so many YouTube videos, because as soon as I get the idea, as soon as I get the inspiration, because I know you all are pressing play. As soon as I get that inspiration, I boom, I click it and I have it up and running. I don't think about it. I just whatever's on my heart or my mind at that moment, I record it. But this is the reason why, because I have it right there on my fingertips. Um. And it keeps me, um, it keeps me productive, and it keeps me creative. So, with that said, that's how I optimize my second brain. Just a really quick recap: I, the first thing I do is I go here, and I pretty much get a, only focus on the essential things, and then I organize all the apps that you know that I need that I use on a pretty much daily basis. Um, like I said, I'm really thinking whether or not I should. Use this because of here, this app library. Apple already does that for you. So that's up in the air. Please let me know in the comments if you think that's something I should just move over or just eliminate it. Um, and then I put no more than three high priority apps on the front display. That's important to you. And this could change. But when I first started this, these were the two that made the most sense for me. And then the the main one like the, the the last tray here with the four with the um the notes the reminders 
the video recordings and the phone and the, I'm sorry, in the camera video, that's where the magic happens. That's where the magic happens. So with that said, um, what I'm going to do is a really quick, uh, I don't want to call it a contest, but I'm interest, interested, if you made it this far in the video, I'm interested to see your, if you send me a screenshot of your front display, what I'll do is I'll send you a cup of coffee on me from Starbucks. So you can send that. My email is in, you know, the description. Get my or my phone number is also in the description, but put it email is probably better. But um but um yeah, send me your, your a screenshot of your display. If you send it to me, I will send you a cup of coffee on me from Starbucks. Um I'm going to see how you organize your your um screen. I'll be hanging out in the comments for a little bit. Peace.